Can a lie detector actually tell when someone's lying? Or is the lie detector full of lies? Hey everyone, I'm Lacey Green. Welcome back to the news. For as long as people have been able to lie to each other, we've been coming up with ways to catch the liar. One of our more glamorous attempts is a polygraph test or a lie detector. It's the machine you sometimes see in movies with the little needles scribbling the little lines. The original lie detector was invented in 1921 by a police officer in none other than my hometown of Berkeley, California. At the time, information was sought out by using something called third degree interrogation. It was apparently legal, I don't know how, to deprive people of food and water, to isolate them, beat them with hoses, and otherwise hurt them to get information so long as the interrogation didn't leave marks on their body. The officer wanted an alternative to the widespread brutality, and he also wanted a way to make the cops obey the law themselves. And so, the so-called lie detector was born. In 1921, it detected changes in blood pressure, and in 2013, it measures blood pressure, breathing, heart rate, and whether or not you're sweating. But from the day it was born, these machines have been hotly debated in law, politics, and, of course, science. Over 80 peer-reviewed studies Studies of the lie detector test have been done, and most of them have found that, well, guys, hate to break it to you, but with a 30% error rate, it doesn't exactly detect lies. Blood pressure, heart rate, sweating, these are physiological responses that can be triggered by things like fear, embarrassment, or anger. Three emotions that may come up when someone is in a high stress situation of being interrogated. The measures do sometimes correlate with actual lies, but it depends on who's in the hot seat and who's doing the interrogating. From a scientific standpoint, it's an interrogation technique, not a science. That's why famous serial killers like Gary Ridgway can pass a polygraph test while another innocent suspect, who was also tested, failed it. Ouch. George Moschke, a former intelligence officer for the Army, says that the polygraph tests can easily be beaten, and not just by crazy serial killers or sociopaths, but by any old person. The secret is in understanding how the test works, so you can identify the control questions and thusly augment your reactions to them. People also use anything from sedatives to tongue biting to antiperspirant on their fingertips to fool the machine. Now, if you're a chronic liar, don't worry, you probably won't be taking one of these anyway. For the most part, lie detectors are considered insufficient evidence in court, but they're still used by intelligence agencies, prosecutors, and law enforcement agencies. At least, for now. Thanks for joining me guys. Don't forget to subscribe to catch more D-News twice a day every day. And while you're at it, you should add our Facebook because we post cool science stuff there all week. I'll see you next time.